Hey guys, today I'll show you how to build an email server using virtual mean and also host VPS on Debian 12 so that you can send unlimited emails. So what you'll need are, of course, number one, a VPS with open port 25. So also host has an open port 25 as long as you have a specific plan to purchase. So for example, their enterprise plan needs at least quarterly subscription to open their port 25. And of course, a domain on Namecheap. I can recommend Namecheap or Namesalo. And of course, a basic knowledge of Linux. So let's start. First, we need to set up an also host VPS. So go to also host VPS. So go to VPS hosting and scroll down. So in order to open their port 25, you need at least a VPS business annual plan or the VPS professional plan semi annually. And for a VPS enterprise, it's quarterly. So I can save on VPS enterprise and you can just click order. In VPS Enterprise, you have at least 6 gigabyte of RAM and 4 CPU core. And just choose quarterly. Choose your um, server location. So I'm choosing New York. For operating system, uh, choose Debian 12. For a control panel, you need nothing because we will install a virtual mean and I have nothing to add here. And just continue with your VPS. You can use credit card. Uh, PayPal or cryptocurrencies. So just proceed to check out so that your VPS will be set up and I'll be going to my VPS control panel. Okay, now I'm here on my VPS control panel. So this is my information. So before connecting to our server, we need to ask our Delta host support to open our port 25 and set our host name. So you need to go to support and open a ticket just go to uh, general server support for the subject let's say request for hostname and rdns okay i'll just say would like to set my host name to mail shop as well as our DNS. So by now you should have a domain. So I can recommend Namecheap. So if you want to register a domain name, do not use .xyz.loans.biz. So instead you need to choose at least the popular top level domains like .com, .org, .ai, .io, or .shop, or .store. So they have good deliverabilities. So now, once our hostname is set, and as well as our RDNS, let's connect to our VPS. So I'll be using a free SSH client called Bitvice. So just go to Bitvice and so enter your IP address here and your port is 22. So for first um, login, you can use root and for advanced users, you can set your SSH keys later on. So let's go back to our um, services. Okay, so let's log in. Click accept and save. So our password is located here. So just copy this one, click paste here and click OK. And before we click new terminal console, uh, be sure your host name is already displayed here. And of course, you need to check your IP for blacklist. So I will be going to MX Toolbox. Okay, just paste your IP here and click blacklist check okay if you have a blacklist under UCE protect TL3 so just ignore this one because this is known to be scamming hosting companies so you're good just ignore this one and next we will check our um, reverse DNS let's see if our PTR is already set so here it is and let's go back to our SSH client so let's click new terminal console 
So before anything else, we will update our system. Okay, sorry about that. It'll be sudo. Okay, so now we need to set up our initial DNS records. So I'll be going to Cloudflare. Okay, so I have already connected my domain from Namecheap to Cloudflare. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be using Cloudflare so that you can see the DNS records better. So I have already added my domain. So my domain is webshanks.shop. Okay, let's go to DNS. So first we need to set up our initial DNS records. Scroll down. So we need to set up our A, MX, and text record. So just follow this guide right here. Okay, let's add an A record for our domain. Okay, add a record. So for our root domain, just use at our IP is our server IP. So this is IPv4. Okay, I'll not choose a proxy, so just click save. Okay, next our mail and a record. So it will be mail. Okay, I will not use proxy, so just click save. And for Amex record, we will use our root domain and our mail.webshop.shop as our Amex record. Okay, so I'll be using MX. So I'll be using at it will be mail webshanks.shop. This is our mail host name. For TTL, just choose auto. And for priority, choose 10. Just click save. So our text record, a demop. Add a text record. Okay, that will be our underscore demark and just copy this content. Okay, for TTL, uh, choose auto, just click save. Another text record will be this one. So just copy this one and this is our SPF. Okay, it will be text. So that will be our root domain. Paste your SPF record and be sure to replace this IPv4 with your own IPv4. So just click save. Okay, now we have added our initial DNS records. Let's go back to our terminal console and let's install virtual mean. So for installing a virtual mean, okay, just copy this one. Okay, just paste it here. Hit enter. Okay, just choose Y. So by this time, just grab a cup of coffee or tea. It will take some time. Okay, so now let's copy this one. Let's access our virtual means. So I'll be going next. Okay, new tab and paste the IP address with port 10,000. So just click advanced, click accept the risk and continue. Okay, let's log into our virtual mean. So our username is root and our password is our root password. So just go back to also host VPS control panel and just copy the password. Paste it here and hit sign in. Okay, great. So now let's install some services. So this is the post installation wizard. Let's click next. Okay, just click next. Okay, if you have bigger RAM, you can enable Clam AV. And this is an antivirus. It needs a lot of RAM, so I'll be using this one. So just click next. Okay, I will run Spam Assassin. Okay, we will use MariaDB as our database. Click next. Okay, be sure to keep this in a safe place. Click next. 
Okay, we will just skip this one. So click next. Okay, next. Okay, we will use hashed password because this is much safer. Click next. So for now, I'll just keep the system defaults. But if you have RAM with 8 gigabyte, you can just choose this one. But I'll just keep the system defaults. So just click next. Okay, just click next. Okay, we'll finish. Okay, so next we will be setting our panel address with our host name so that we can use our um, subdomain rather than this long IP address. So first, just go to webmin. Okay, so our host name is host.altaserver.net. We will change this one. Okay, so our host name is mail webshanks.shop so for our DNS servers just paste your IP before here okay paste it here paste it here and just click save so let's apply configuration okay great so let's go to virtual mean okay let's go back to web min first and let's see if our host name has changed okay great so let's go back to virtual mean and let's add a domain but first we need to add a new virtual server so just click this one okay so our domain will be webshanks shop so let's create an admin password okay, and be sure to check accept mail for domain and just click create server okay now let's go to uh, dns settings okay let's go to uh, virtual server details okay great okay now let's issue an ssl certificate for our panel domain so just go to manage virtual server go to set up ssl certificate and go to let's encrypt certificate so just click request certificate be sure you have your domain here so okay let's issue a certificate so just click here okay so let's return to ssl certificate management okay so this is where our ssl.cert is located so now let's access our panel address so okay so our default page is enabled so now let's add a 10,000 ports okay root and let's copy our password okay just sign in okay now we are using our mail that web shop subdomain to access our virtual mean and this is our host name now so let's install round you and okay, just go to manage web apps okay just choose round cube and scroll down to install this one okay let's install now okay we have successfully installed round cube and let's add a mail user so just go to edit users okay add mail user Okay, let's see at Drew. Okay, set a password and let's go to email settings. Be sure to choose yes and yes here. So we will not set an automatic reply. So just click create. Great, and now let's add the missing part. It is the DKIM keys. So go to DNS settings. So just click DNS DKIM record. Okay, this is your DNS record. So we will create a text record. So we'll just copy this one. And okay, I'll be using an online notepad. Okay, I'll just paste this one. So let's add a text record. Okay, let's go back to our DNS provider. Okay, we'll add a text record. So for the name, okay, this is your name paste it here and let's copy this one do not include the quotation marks ok 
Okay, this is here. Another one. Okay, just be patient. here another line okay last line and just click save and we'll wait for a few minutes for the dkm key propagates okay now let's access our webmail so to access our webmail we will use our host name so your host name forward slash round cube. So let's log in using our created email user. So webshanks.shop. I'll just paste my password here and just click login. Okay, now let's test our email server. We'll go to mail tester. Okay, just copy this email and we will send an email. Okay, compose. Paste the email address. I'll be using an email template. This will be a text format. So I just pasted this one here. Okay, just and just click send. Okay, let's go to our mail tester and let's check our score. Perfect. So this is our email address and we got a 10 over 10 score. Okay, now let's send a test email to Gmail and ProtonMail. I'll be using the same email template. Okay, I'll go to webshanks, gmail.com and webshanks at ton.me. Okay, so I'll just copy the body and the subject and I'll just open first my Gmail account as well as ProtonMail. Okay, let's send this test email. Okay, great. We receive it directly to our inbox as well as ProtonMail. Okay, let's try to reply. Okay, let's send Okay, let's refresh. Okay, great, we received the reply from Gmail. Okay, so for email clients, let's go back to our virtual mean. Go to edit users and just click the show email client settings. Okay, this is your email client settings. So for instance, you want to use Thunderbird, use this as our cold email marketing. Let's go to Instantly. Okay, we will connect our email server to Instantly. Okay, let's click Add New. It will be any provider. So let's use any provider single account. Okay, let's do at webshanks.shop. So for password, use your email password from virtual mean. So I am a post that will be mail that webshanks.shop and we will use port 9 and 3. Okay, so this will be an IMAP port. Okay, let's click next. So our SMTP host is mail that webshanks.shop and we will use port 587. So here it is. Let's submit. Okay, great. You are now connected to Instantly and you can warm up this email in order to send mass emails. So this is how you will build an email server using virtual mean and also host a BPS on Debian 12. And you can connect the email servers to your Instantly or Smart Lead or your preferred email software. So if you have any questions, just put them on the comment sections and I'll try to answer them all. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.